We all love to drive through hills and valleys, but have you ever seen alphabet hills and valleys? You might say, what on earth are alphabet hills and valleys? Have a look at the alphabet in this form. It's rather unusual. We'll start with A and put it there, then B, C, D, E. So we've gone down into a valley and back up to the top of a hill again. Then we go F, G, H, and we have a small valley. We're back on the top of another hill. Then I, J, K, L, and we have yet another small valley. Now, have you worked out what's happening yet? If you have, you'll be able to tell me exactly where the M is going to come. Is it going to come at the top of a hill, halfway down to a valley, or all the way at the bottom of a valley? Make up your mind, tell everybody else in the room, and then we'll see if you're correct. Here comes the M. Did that give you a surprise? And the N, right next door to it. What about the O? Where's that going to be? I know. Do you? Here comes the O, right down the bottom of a valley again. This is strange, isn't it? If you've worked it out by now, then you'll know that P, Q and R come halfway up and right next to each other. And the S is down the bottom of another valley. If you're still puzzled, have a look at all of the letters on the tops of hills. What do you notice about the shape of those letters? And have a look at the three letters, just C, O and S, at the bottom of valleys. What do you notice about those? Aha, you say. They all seem to be rather curvy. OK, I think you have it now. We'll now go to the next letter, which is T. Did you predict that it would be up there? And then U and V and W. And by now you're saying, I've got it. I can see that all of the letters on the top of the hills are made up of straight lines. The ones on the bottom of valleys, curved lines. And the ones halfway have some straights and some curved lines. And so you know that the final three, X, Y and Z, will be up the top. That's Alphabet Hills and Valleys. Thank you.